In April 1944, at Bourg and Brest Station in France, French resistance troops, including Louise Desfontaines and her husband, Claude, execute a mission to hunt down Nazi officers. Unfortunately, Claude is killed during the shootout, forcing Louise to flee as an explosion is set off. Forty days after the incident, Louise Desfontaines was expatriated to London. At Thamesford Airfield in England, she reunites with her brother, Pierre Desfontaines, an officer of the French Division of the Special Operations Executive, SOE, the espionage initiative started by Winston Churchill in 1940 to fight off the Nazi invasion. After a brief conversation at the pub, he takes Louise to meet with Colonel Buckmaster, the head of Sioux, to recruit her for another dangerous mission. She is tasked to evacuate a British geologist disguised as a German soldier in Wormacht Hospital in Normandy's Palm Levec, taking extra precautions not to be spotted by any Nazi official. The mission will require her and four other female recruits with unique skill sets. One of the agents, Italian aristocrat Maria Lozato, has already infiltrated the hospital as a nurse. Simultaneously, the German Opfer, Colonel Karl Heinrich, in charge of counterespionage, is presenting a slideshow about his suspicions that the Allied forces have landed somewhere on the beaches of Normandy, as evidenced by belongings left by the British geologist. Unfortunately, the Prussian field marshal dismisses his claims, refusing to move the Panzer Division to follow his theory. As the colonel leaves to find the geologist, Lieutenant Becker suggests he plead his case to someone close to Hitler in Berlin. Two days later, Louise and Pierre meet with a prostitute and cold-blooded killer, Jean Faussier, promising to get her pardon for her murder charge if she accepts the mission. Later, they recruit French religious officer Gaël Lemonek, a chemist and explosives expert. Lastly, the pair meet cabaret dancer Susie Dupré, who once became a mistress of a Nazi officer. She intends to escape her problems, but Pierre forces her to undertake the mission to solve them. Not long after, Louise and the female agents are brought to Tempsford Airfield for a brief meeting. Pierre gives them money, ration books, and travel permits with new identities to pass through the Gestapo inconspicuously. He also hands out cyanide pills they can swallow as a last resort should they be captured by the Nazis. Later, the agents dress accordingly and get blessed by the priest as they board the plane to Normandy. That night, though everyone is anxious, they jump out of the aircraft during heavy gunfire and parachute down safely through the cloud of smoke. Meanwhile, Colonel Heydrich by the lieutenant about the location of the geologist in Wormack Hospital, prompting him to leave Paris immediately. Simultaneously, Maria introduces Louise as one of the new nurses. At the same time, Pierre and the other female agents enter the hospital as cabaret performers. Upon seeing Colonel Heydrich arrive, Louise informs her brother that he is Susie's ex-lover, as seen in the photograph. Shortly after, she and Maria attempt to free the geologist currently being interrogated by Heydrich. While the patients and guards enjoy Susie and Jean's cabaret performance, Louise kills the guard at the door. She frees the geologist from the bed as Maria gets a stretcher. Meanwhile, Gael and Pierre plant bombs under the vehicles and kill the Nazi operator to disrupt the communication station. After the show, Louise attempts to assassinate Heydrich in the bathroom but fails as he dodges the bullets. The agents then escape the hospital by throwing gas canisters in the hall, killing some German officers who spot them escape. After a shootout, they leave in an ambulance as the bombs set off. As Heydrich struggles to radio the incident to headquarters, he gets a lead on the female agents through photos taken by a soldier's camera. Later, while still on the road, the geologist, who struggles to speak, writes down a message informing the agents that the Gestapo knows about the Phoenix Project. Louise confronts Pierre about it, but he keeps mum, stating they must go to Paris to eliminate Heydrich, regardless of the agreement they only signed for a single mission. Though she angrily protests about risking the women's lives, Pierre instructs her to Renvis with the group at Duroc's Institute for the Blind. At the same time, they retreat to a safe house, much to the agent's disgust. However, Heydrich finds their location, shooting their colleague, René, and injuring Pierre in the leg to incapacitate him while a horrified Louise watches in the field. With her brother's capture, Louise is asked to stay inside the underground cellar while Maria goes to Paris to take Pierre's place in the mission. The female agents argue the whole night, feeling aghast with their plight, not knowing if they will survive. Suddenly, a shootout occurs above, prompting Louise to investigate. A Nazi soldier jumps her, but Gael shoots him in the chest before he can stab her. A day later, Pierre is brought to Gestapo HQ in Paris and tortured by Heydrich to reveal information about Phoenix, which is connected to a photograph of concrete caisson in the water. Meanwhile, Louise faints on a train to Paris and is checked by a German doctor as the female agents scramble to save her. Jean has a change of heart and attempts to run away with a suitcase of money, only to get stopped by Gael, who threatens to kill her. Shortly after Louise awakens, the doctor reveals that she is pregnant. Upon arriving at the station, she and the agent split up, 
agreeing to meet at the Renvis point in Pont de Neuilly. Unfortunately, Gael is taken by Nazi officers who recognize her in a photograph. Meanwhile, Heydrich is shocked to discover Louise's identity in the SS archives. Moments later, Louise reunites with the group, unaware of Gael's capture. Maria reveals the entrapment operation, informing her that Heydrich's colleague, Eddie, will arrange a meeting with Susie and the colonel in room 813 of the Regina Hotel. She must convince Susie to kill her ex with a gun planted inside the room. Meanwhile, Gael is brought inside the interrogation room and stripped of her clothes, hoping Pierre will soften seeing her tortured. However, he remains quiet about their mission. Before the officer strips off her fingernail, the young chemist relents and reveals the safe house where Louise and the agents hide. Later, while Susie and Maria leave inconspicuously, Louise and Jean are hurriedly escorted by the institute director to the underground tunnels as Heydrich, and his men arrive at Duroc to raid the school. Meanwhile, Pierre tries to strangle Gael to death because she refuses to commit suicide with a cyanide pill after getting compromised, but Heydrich takes him away before he kills her. He then forces her to reveal the agent's new rendezvous point, which is at the Pont de Neuilly platform. Later, Louise and Jean reunite with Maria and Susie at Eddie's house. Susie becomes hysterical when she discovers she will be used as bait to lure Heydrich and kill him in the hotel. After incapacitating Eddie, Louise calms her down and promises they will eliminate him as soon as she gets close enough. While the group waits for Maria to contact HQ, they talk about their personal issues, with Susie revealing she gave up Heydrich's baby for adoption. Louise tells her that Claude is not alive to know she is pregnant with his baby. The next day, Colonel Buckmaster messages Louise to meet up with Melchior, the curator of the Natural History Museum in Paris. Once there, she is given orders to execute Heydrich publicly in the train station while rescuing Gael. She agrees on the condition she saves her brother as well. Shortly after, she returns to the group and coerces Eddie to help them with their mission in exchange for his life. At noontime, Gael is forcibly taken by the Gestapo officers to Pont de Neuilly to lure out Louise. Jean, in disguise, passes her some information about their plan before coming down the stairs to scout around at the station. A quick surveillance reveals that Heydrich and his men are hiding behind the frosted glass panel of the train office, prompting Louise to ready her sniper rifle. However, the colonel steps outside upon catching a glimpse of Susie, who he knows as Liliana, across the platform. With their cover blown, Maria tries to shoot Heydrich but is killed by Lieutenant Becker, while Susie escapes by entering another train car to Tuileries. Louise tries to save Gael by shooting Heydrich in the shoulder before the next train covers her escape. Though she changes her attire, she gets caught by Gestapo officers and taken to their headquarters. Meanwhile, Jean stabs one of the officials blocking her way and leaves the station unnoticed. Not long after, Louise is chained up in the next room across from Gael. She weeps as she gives her a cyanide pill and forgives her for compromising the mission before she is taken away by officers. Simultaneously, Heydrich calls Eddie and castigates him for appearing at the train station with Susie, who he believes is a look-alike. He orders him to bring her to the Regina Hotel in the evening. He returns to the interrogation room to force Pierre to reveal information about the geologist now that Louise is in their custody. Still, he keeps quiet while his sister gets beaten and assaulted. Eventually, he relents in exchange for sparing Louise. He reveals that the Phoenix breakwaters were meant to sink near the beaches to build a floating port with pontoons, creating an artificial landing port for the American forces to land on. This revelation prompts the colonel to arrange a meeting with a field marshal in Berlin, presenting Pierre as evidence so the Nazi troops can prepare. He then fulfills his promise to let Louise go free before leaving. Meanwhile, Gael strips off her clothes in the other cell and lies on the floor praying before swallowing the cyanide pill. In London, Colonel Buckmaster and his allies convene after receiving a message from Melchior, who intercepted the call of Lieutenant Becker to the Nazi field marshal. Despite Pierre's failure, he reveals his plan B, using Susie as bait for Heydrich. Meanwhile, Susie and Jean prepare the suite with a gun hidden between the towels on the bed. Upon the colonel's arrival, he caresses Susie, who he knows as Liliana. He begs for her to rekindle their love for each other in Germany. He seduces her as she prepares to shoot and succeeds in killing her after a struggle for the gun. As Jean escapes with Eddie, she becomes horrified to see Susie's corpse brought out by the Gestapo. Melchior comes with them to help in freeing Louise. In the interrogation room, Pierre kills himself, much to the disappointment of Heydrich, who lets Louise choose execution or deportation, the latter being preferred. Fortunately, Jean and her group intercept the transport carrying Louise to La Roquette prison at the cost of Melchior's life. At night, at Gare de Les Station, Jean and Louise, wearing a Gestapo uniform, arrive to locate Heydrich, with the former creating a diversion by shooting one of the officers to cause chaos. With everyone distracted, Louise casually approaches the colonel. 
she fatally shoots him in the chest, escaping through the cloud of smoke. She returns to London, informing Buckmaster that Jean needs to be rescued before she can meet with Churchill. Much later, in August 1944, Paris was liberated from Nazi occupation, thanks to the Phoenix Breakwaters Initiative. Many months go by as Louise settles as a nurse in a London military hospital. Buckmaster visits and shows her photographs of a Russian concentration camp, with one showing Jean dead by strangulation, much to Louise's disappointment. Later, on May 8, 1945, Louise heard about Germany's unconditional surrender to the Allied forces, signifying victory in Europe. She then visits a chapel and leaves a picture of her and her fallen colleagues near the stack of lit candles to honor them. In 1949, Louise returned to France and married an architect. Soon after, she was awarded the Croix de Guerre and Legion d'Honneur military honors and died at 98 in 2004 without children. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.